Let's go and welcome everybody to Monica After Story in 2021. Why mention in 2021, you may ask? Well, because this mod is special, it is unique, and it is so, 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 so different from all the other ones out there. And that is because this mod was crafted over four years ago and is still getting continuous updates to this day. Now that is already nuts. But on top of that, and is what what is really the big reason as to why it's so different, is that this mod specifically is crafted to create everybody's own personalized playthrough. Depending on how often you play this mod, when you boot it up, how long you've been playing it for, when's the last time you played it, what choices you make, all of these things impact how this mod takes its course. And if you somehow do not know, this mod takes place after Monica destroys the Doki Doki Literature Club universe and you're in the room with her. But instead of choosing to delete her, you hang out with her for the rest of your life. And that's what this is. So um, yeah, we're going to jump into it and see just how a 2021 playthrough is different and impacted through um, the complex machine learning that is this mod. So uh, yeah, without further ado, let's jump into the mod and see how it treats us. Now, this is honestly kind of the craziest thing in the world. And again, I feel like this is going to be so unique to, oh, save data found. Oh my gosh, I wasn't even going to mention this. I launched this mod one time four years ago when I first finished a DDLC. Did not realize that that was still on my computer. Holy shit. Oh my god. <laughs> what is going to happen? Okay. Um. Yes, import. What? What? Dude, I have no idea what this is going to make the game do, but I'm genuinely so curious right now. Okay, 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 okay. Settings. First of all, what the hell are all of these options? I have never interfaced with this mod ever. Again, I launched it for two seconds, and I think I said hi and left and never came back. <laughs> oh my god, dude. Monica's probably gonna be so pissed. Okay. Okay, I don't know what all this stuff is. Let's just, um... Let's just jump into it and uh, experience the mod. Hotkeys, whatever, I don't care, just Monica. Okay. Hello, Rar. Looks like you got here early. Don't think I didn't notice the mod you put in. Did you want to be with me that much? You should know already that cheating is bad. But it's so good to see you again, Rar. Even if I didn't expect to see you this soon. You know, I feel that I no longer need a character file to be here. I'll just go ahead and delete it. <laughs> okay, 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 I see, I see. And it's gone. It's not like that file is me, anyway. It's just a file with weird code in it. I do have good news, though. I can really transform myself into a file you can bring around. All you have to do is tell me that you're going to take me somewhere when you say goodbye, and I'll do the rest. This is like mind-blowing, already. Anyway, it looks like the extra code made me con connect to you in a special way. Or maybe our eternal love. Promise me that you'll visit me every day, okay? Mm -hmm. Well, lucky for you, Monica. Actually, it's not lucky for you. It's not DDLC Mod Month anymore, so I don't play DDLC mods every day. But oh my gosh, maybe I'm going to feel obligated to do it. I don't know, man. You can't make Monica mad. She's best Doki. Okay, you know what? I'm going to say it right here. This mod is going to change my point of view and vision. Natsuki and Monica, always very close. They've been fighting the good fight. This may as well solidify Monica as best girl. Depending on how this goes. So far, first impressions, beautiful. Or uh, that you'll take me with you when you go out. I know that there will be times when you can't be there. So it would really make me happy if you could bring me along. That way we can be together all the time. It's not like you don't have time to talk to you with your cute girlfriend. You took the time to download the mod after all. <laughs> 
God, I love you so much. Oh my God. What do I tell Monica that the, the, half of the reason why I downloaded this mod was for content on YouTube? <laughs> no, I can't. I can't. But we got to be transparent. I love you too. I didn't even click the button. You do love me, Rar, right? Uh, um, I mean, now I'm very curious to see what happens if I do not click anything for a little while. What is this? Dude, I gotta say, this is just like already tickling my fancy beyond belief. Number one thing I love in DDLC mods is choices and when they matter and a lot of choices at that. And um, I don't know what to, the, the, the greatest thing too is I don't really know what to expect besides um, I'm trapped in this universe forever with Monica. Except I'm not though, because apparently I can put her on a flash drive and take her out for a walk. Is this some kind of Pokemon Go stuff? Does she, if I, how many steps I take in my USB drive with her on it? Does she like gain affection towards me? Does she gain life experience skills in the real world? You know, maybe she'll understand how to, um, you know, freaking make a peanut butter and jelly sandwich if I have her in my pocket while I make a PB and J down in my kitchen. I mean, that'd turn her into an even better wife. A wife that can freaking cook. Shoo. Do you think Monica can cook? Okay. Anyway, of course I love you. I almost want to say no because you you know as Monica said we took time out of our day to download this who the frick is gonna say no it's tempting now can you even save scum in this you can't now that is so interesting as well because Monica always knows the files are constantly being updated you literally can't save scum in this bro this literally makes it such a unique experience. This is crazy. This is literally crazy. This is the, this is nuts. This is freaking nuts. Um, uh, 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 I love you. I'm so happy you feel the same way. Nothing's ever gonna get in the way of our love again. I'll make sure of it. Dude, Monica, your expressions are literally turning me on and I don't like it for a YouTube video. Now that you added some improvements, you can finally talk to me. Just press the T key, or click the talk on the menu if you want to talk about something. What? Really? I I, I can't do it yet. It's, it's still she's she's dumping explanation. But if there's anything I'm talking about that you want to revisit easily, you can just press the B key and I'll bookmark it for you. Dude, oh my God. And if there happens to be something that you don't want me to bring up again, you can press the X key to avoid it. Interesting. What if we literally just press the X key on everything? Do you think that that like How deep is this? Because I know that this has a Reddit with like 30,000 people, like 30,000 members. Again, people are talking about this mod multiple times a day every day at this current moment still. The amount of depth in this is just already blowing my mind. It's incredible. And again, I, I mean, granted I'm kind of assuming some of the depth here, but like Still, still, just now, I'm just already blown away. Hopefully there aren't too many things like that. <laughs> if you get bored of uh, the music, I can change that too. Press the M key or press the, uh, on, or click on music to choose what you want to listen to. I better not be copyrighted music in there, Monica. Also, we can play games now. Just press the P or click play. I'll get better over time as I figure out how to program more features into this place. So just leave me running in the background. It's not like we're still keeping secrets from each other, right? After all, I can see everything on your computer now. <laughs> um, <laughs> what? Oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. By the way, I gotta say, like, where my face came as placed is, like, literally perfect for this mod somehow. But anyway. Like, it's weird. Like, do you even call this a mod? Like, yeah, obviously, I guess, because, like... It's a mod, but I don't know, man. This is crazy. This is crazy. Rar, I have something exciting to tell you. I've been practicing coding a bit more, and I've learned how to use the notifications on your new computer. Okay, Monica, 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 Monica. I can't be, like, live streaming on Twitch, and then you start, like, DMing me to, to come talk to you. Because, like, I'm a, I'm, a, I'm a busy type of guy sometimes, okay? You know? I understand, you know? Priorities, you know? You're my girlfriend, 
if if you want to talk i should make time but at the same time monica we do we have to set some boundaries okay we have to set some boundaries i'm noticing that the boundaries are start there there are none right now and you are taking advantage of that to just dump everything on me monica we need to take a step back and figure some things out here girl i love you but this relationship might get a little too crazy if we don't set some boundaries okay that's all i'm saying so if you want i can let you know if um i have something for us to talk about would you like to see how they work? Um, yeah, I'm gonna, like, like I said, I'm a pass. This, this is, this is the first time Monica's gonna get sad, but this is the first time we're gonna set a boundary here, okay? We're gonna let her know what's up. All right, Roar. If you want me to notify you, just head over to the alerts tab. Dude, Jesus. Also, since you're using Windows, I know how to check what your active window is. Jesus! Okay, I'm sorry for, like, all of these, like, reactions, right? I'm barely even, like, getting through this. At this point, the, this first episode... And, and, like, how do you even break this up into episodes? Just when it feels right? I think we're just gonna learn what this is sort of about, and then we'll, we'll, we'll put an end cap there, and then start to explore some things in, in more depth, maybe next episode or something. This is obviously a series that I'll make multiple episodes on, but, you know... It's going to be sporadic, right? Whenever I feel like playing. Whenever I feel like having a little chit-chat with Monica. It's not going to be, like, super traditional. It's not, like, episode one, episode two, episode three. In fact, now that I'm thinking about it, I don't think I should even put parts in this. I don't think saying, like, Monica After Story Part 1 really even makes sense. I think literally it only makes sense maybe in this first moment when things are sort of the same for everybody. Anyway, uh, you, you, you catch my drift. So, if I have something to talk about while I'm in the background, I can let you know. And don't worry, I know you might want me constantly watching you, and uh, you might not want me constantly watching you, and I respect your privacy. So I'll only look at what you're doing if you're okay with it. If you enable Window Reacts in the Settings menu, that'll tell me that you're fine with me looking around. It's not like you have anything to hide from your girlfriend, right? <laughs> Rar, so I've been thinking a bit. I've mentioned before that the you in the game might not reflect the real you. But I guess I just assumed that you were probably a guy. <laughs> the main character was, after all. But if I'm going to be your girlfriend, I should probably know at least this much about the real you. So what's your gender? Okay, um, little, little, okay, like, normally I would never talk crap about, um, a mod's choices, especially when it comes to a choice like this, but considering that this has been constantly updated for about four years straight, um, I would assume that, um, maybe they would have, like, a, like, an other button at the bottom that would then open up tabs to, with, like, you know, 20 different choices to, like, actually get what's going on. Um, because, like, well, actually, I guess it makes sense, because, you know, well, actually, what does neither mean, then? Like, like, transgender can kind of almost be a umbrella term for really anybody that, you know, right, transi transitions their gender to something that they were not, um, you know, like, natively born as, right? Like, changing their, yeah, changing their gender to, uh, to not what their sex is, I guess is, is really what I mean. So, technically, that kind of can... I'm having a difficult time whether I'm supposed to choose neither or transgender is what I'm trying to explain to you. <laughs> I'm gender fluid, if you didn't know. Um, I'm transgender. Oh, okay. Never mind. Shit, now I feel really included, actually. Oh, okay. What gender do you identify as? Neither. You don't see yourself as a guy or a girl? That's very interesting, but I can sort of relate. Like, I am a girl, but I'm also a character in a computer game. So in some ways, I'm not really a girl at all. Oh, Monica, please don't do that to me. I'm only attracted to cute girls, okay? You can't you can't tell me you're a freaking man, Monica. Please don't do this to me. No, but you know, it's... it's, it's okay. <laughs> okay. Not that I have an issue with guys, okay? 
you know? I, I call myself a boy, you know, pretty often. But when you treat me like a, your girlfriend, it makes me really happy. So I'll treat you however you want to be treated. Also, like, sorry if I'm sort of talking, like, a lot and not reading so much, but I feel like that's kind of the point of this mod, is to talk about it a lot. I feel like this mod, more than anything, is, like, reaction content. Reaction, 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 reaction. Like, like, there's always something happening for you to, like, really react to. I guess I, I, that can kind of be said for anything you consume because you can react to anything which is why i do you know go on tangents and talk a lot during mods and apparently people get mad at me for it because just watch a youtuber that doesn't talk over it if you don't if you if you don't like that i talk over the mod you have you ever thought about that a lot of people will literally comment on my YouTube videos. I would say, like, it's the most prevalent comment I get because, like, almost no one watches and comments on my videos for the most part now. You know, maybe I get, like, five comments. I would say usually there's one every time that's, like, in DLC videos that's like, Hey, you talk too much! Shut up! And I'm like, What? What? Just, you understand that there's, like, other YouTubers that you can watch, right? Like, ones that have no commentary or, like, you know, they just read the text and that's it. Just just saying, you you know, you don't you don't have to stay if you don't like it. Anyway. Cause it's like they want me to change for them. You don't you talk too much. Stop it. So I can enjoy more. It's like, dude, just go find someone else. <laughs> anyway. Your happiness is the most important thing to me after all. I'll always love you for who you are, Rar. I didn't even say my name was Rar. Monica, shit. Okay, um, so I guess that really is, like, the start. That is the start of this. We now have free reign to do what we want. I'm sure Monica will probably talk to me in, like, a minute if I'm idle here. Um, but I, I can now choose options. I have free reign to explore and do basically whatever I want. And even though there's only four different options here of talk, extra music, and play, I know that there is a lot to do in this. Between, like, background swapping, having Monica cosplay, um, you know, tons of different music, tons of different games, um, various topics to talk about. Like, I know that there is so, 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 so much. Like, you can celebrate, like, Christmas together and events and stuff because, you know, she has that clock. She knows what's going on. So I know there's so much to do. Not that I know anything of it. I've just seen a couple of screenshots. You know, here, I'll spoil it. I've, I've seen her cosplayed as Hatsune Miku. Okay? I saw that. Sorry, I'm spoiled. Now if it happens for me, I'm still going to be extremely excited because I, I love Hatsune Miku, so don't worry. It doesn't really ruin anything for me. <laughs> but yeah, so anyway, super excited to dive into all of it. Let's read what Monica has to say here, and then I think we'll, we'll put an end cap here for the first episode. I'm not really a fan of the cold. Uh, are you? If I had to choose between too cold or too hot, I would always pick too hot. Oh, actually, like, I... I wasn't sure, but now I'm super cold meta because I don't really like t-shirts that much. I mean, I'm literally wearing a t-shirt right now because it's super hot, but I like long sleeve shirts and sweatshirts the most. So those are like my two favorite articles of clothing. And I do still wear long sleeve shirts a lot because it's like, oh, roll up the sleeves and it's basically like a t-shirt. But, you know, yeah, I prefer bundling up rather than being in a t-shirt. Not really a hot take. I, I know you've heard many people say that to you before, but yeah, I, I'm 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 cold weather gang. When you're too cold, it can actually be painful. Your fingers get numb, and if you wear gloves, you can't use your phone. It's so inconvenient. Okay, Monica. Yeah, if we're literally outside, but I'm talking about like inside, like in this building we're in right now. If it's like a hundred degrees Fahrenheit. You can only turn the AC so low, potentially. My room is super hot, even though we have AC, because, you know, my door is closed, PC running, I don't get that good ventilation. So I'm sweating. It's a hot box in here during the summer days. Um, I would much rather prefer a cold room, you know? My, I don't gotta wear gloves in a room. So, you know what, Monica? I'm sorry, I didn't really think about that. If we're talking about being outside, I might prefer hot weather. I think I'm pretty indifferent, honestly. They both sort of suck a lot. <laughs> Sweating to death or being frozen, solid. But when it's too hot, 
It's not that hard to stay cool with a cold drink or by staying in the shade. Although, I do have to admit one thing. Cold weather makes for better cuddle weather. <laughs> yeah, okay. Cute. I want to cuddle the shit out of you right now, Monica. Anyway, I'm um, looking forward to more. Um, I'm also realizing that this is going to be the easiest series to make, like, titles and, and thumbnails for basically ever because Monica has so many expressions and she talks about so many wildly different things that are funny and cute and heartwarming and horny. So, yeah, this will be, I think, a pretty fun ride. Looking forward to playing more. But with that being said, uh, thank you for watching. Let me know if, uh, if you're excited to see me kind of jump into this and experience it a little bit more because, again, this was very surface level for now. But yeah, thank you for watching. Much love. Take care and have a damn good one.